Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I install the trolling motor on my Hobie Compass Tandem. I'm going to be doing a side mount installation with my Minn Kota 30 pound thrust trolling motor. The last time I did this I used a water snake trolling motor and it worked out really well except the water snake broke after the third time. So this time around I used one and a half inch PVC and I marked it to about 12 inches. I made two of these, one for each rod holder of the kayak. I cut those down to size and after that I measured the rod holder depth which was about 6 inches and I marked 6 inches on the PVC pipe. From there it was the most time consuming part is heating the PVC since it's bigger than the rod holder and just really softening it up and taking your time to soften it up and put it into the rod holder. This is my second go around with it. The first one I kind of burned a lot of, had a lot of burn marks in it, but it worked nonetheless. It was just cosmetic. And it's gonna take a while just to try to do this evenly and steady. But once you get it soft enough, what you're gonna do is place it into the rod holder and just have it try to conform to the hole. Once you get it as far down as possible, you'll see that it made it a little bit smaller, about an inch, maybe two inches. You'll start to work your way up the PVC to the part that also needs to be softened and pushed down farther. You'll continue to do this until you have it at a depth where you think is, is suitable. I didn't quite make it to the six inch mark on my PVC. I got to like around maybe like five inches but from there, I thought it was pretty secure, so I didn't feel like I could go any farther and just left it. Once you do that, just take whatever board that you're gonna use and place it against the PVC on each side now I'm going to use some U-bolts, they're 2 inch by 4 and a half inch and I'm going to place those on the board and just mark where I need to drill the holes. After that, just put the board back on the kayak and tighten the nuts down. Do that on both sides. On the side that the trolling mo motor is going to be, I made sure that it was extremely tight. On the other side, opposite of the trolling motor, I just made sure it wasn't really extremely tight. I want to be able to pull that PVC out of the U-bolt so that I'm able to lift the mount out away from the rod holders. Just based on the angle of the PVC in the rod holders, you're going to have to make sure that you can pull one of the PVCs out so that you are able to lift it. Once I got it where I wanted it to be, I just go, went ahead and painted it a nice blue color. Then it was time to test it on the water. It was really easy to put the trolling motor up and down from the sitting position of the kayak. And it was really easy to turn the speeds on high, low, or reverse. I used the control, the rudder system on the kayak rather than using the trolling motor to turn. But overall, this is an upgraded experience from the Water Snake. I've used it several times now and I really like it. It's really easy to get on and off. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, write some comments. Thank you and have a great day.